idea, turning water and baking soda into fuel for your car. Well, sky-high gas prices have everyone now looking to get the most out of every last drop. And tonight, Wink News anchor Stacey Adams tells you, you can do it yourself and save money. You know, I mean, four, you know, $4 a gallon is a lot different from, you know, about 50 Mike Barr commutes from Lehigh Acres to Naples five times a week, and gas was eating up his budget. So his dad, his mechanic, started thinking. This one is the original one that I made off the plans on the internet. What looks like a science project is a hydrogen generator. Distilled water and baking soda. It takes the current from your battery and produces hydrogen gas. Then... It's dispersed through the motor. All it simply does is aid in combustion. First of all, that burns. It makes the fuel burn twice as efficient. Yeah. To see how it works, we took his gassed-up 2005 Lincoln for a drive, equipped with two generators under the hood and one in the trunk. When you let off this gas, it's pumping oxygen and hydrogen into the car. We drove exactly 20 miles, so we should have needed a full gallon of gas, according to his car's miles per gallon standard. I can't get any more in there. Forcing less than a quarter of a gallon in the tank, it spills out the top. Barr says depending on how you drive, hydrogen generators can increase your gas mileage by 25 to 35 percent. There's electrodes that get hooked up right here and here. Bonita Springs mechanic Bobby Haynes also has an interest in hydrogen. Hey, you can pretty much wire it to any car and get hydrogen. I mean, because it's a system contained within itself, and you're just putting the hydrogen into it. All right, but the trick is to get the car to recognize it. Haynes has been working on improving it with plans to put one on this motorcycle. Both got instructions on how to build the hydrogen generators on the Internet. All the parts you need can be found at your local hardware store, and our mechanics say you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. I do a lot of research on it to find out. I mean, we've invested a lot of money to find out which ones actually do work well. What it amounts to is one more trip back and forth every tank of gas. Anything to make sure you never run on empty. Well, there are some drawbacks. It's not maintenance-free. You have to keep replenishing the water and the baking soda as it run at, runs out. Since our interview, mechanic Jay Barr now says he's using a generator made out of that PVC pipe like our mechanic in Benita and says now he's getting 51 miles to the gallon in that 2005 Lincoln.